<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for Game 7 of Backyard Baseball Season 4. We are doing great. Undefeated. Six get wins, zero losses. There are only two other teams in the league that can say that about themselves, so we are doing just fantastically. <laughs> Marky looks so proud of himself. Everybody should be proud. Y'all are doing great. This has been, this is already such a great team, even though I fully expected us to be doing badly. We're still undefeated. We're not quite, last game was not quite a shutout, but we still definitely kicked butt. So it looks like today we're going up against the Hornets, an original team, and it's a home game, which is great. I've been looking forward to going back to Ekman Acres. We don't have to worry about getting a bad course now. We know it's going to be good. So let's start. All right, let's see what our players are like. Pablo's good. Oof. Oh, that's not good. Kenny's got the decreases. And he's got the decreases in running, too, which is one of his strong suits. So that's going to be rough. Angela's fine. Pete's fine. Arthur's fine. Okay, we're swapping Arthur with Angela. She's our star pitcher again. Yes, Kimmy's got her home field increases again. That's great. Reese is fine. Marky's fine. And Annie's fine. Okay, Kimmy's got the increases. Kenny's got the decreases. All right, if that's the case... Well, if Charlie Brown's back to normal, I think we can move him up, move Kenny down. Yeah, I think I think this should be fine. All right, all right, this this should be this should be fine. I, I'm feeling confident today. Kenny's decreases shouldn't make that big of a difference. It just might make it harder for him to get on base, so he might he might get out a bunch of times. But that's why we move him to the bottom. All right, their team, the Hornets. We've got Sarah Maxwell. Oh yeah, she's stacked. Got to watch out for her. Uh oh no, Mikey Thomas. Coach, I'm really sad that you didn't pick me for this season again. I'm going to kick your butt. Oh, no. Mikey is really good. Oh, no. Claudia is also really good. This is bad. Okay. Dawn has big decreases. She's still super fast, though, so that's still a bit disconcerting. They got Yvonne Carter. She's pretty good. Uh, May Menard Mc Maynard McElroy. Have we ever gone against McElroy? I feel like I would have remembered that. She got a couple decreases, but she, again, she's still stacked at speed, so that's rough. Jillian is not great. Alicia is pretty decent, and Faye is pretty... Okay, they've got a kind of stacked team. This this could be problematic. Batting-wise, we really got to watch out for Mikey Thomas, Claudia, and... Uh, okay, it's Claudia and Mikey who we really got to watch out for batting. And then Sarah, Claudia, Dawn... M McElroy, they are all really, really fast. Yikes. Okay, this is going to be tough. This this is probably the toughest team we've seen thus far. But I got faith in us. I, I got faith in my team. We play well. We can, we can still win this. But it's, it's definitely going to be tough. This is unexpected because I remember from the, uh, the standings... I didn't think the Hornets had done that well. I thought they were in the division where, like, every team had won three games. So I would expect this team to be, like, the undefeated or nearly undefeated team, but guess not. All right. Hornets versus Bombers. Custom team versus custom team. This is going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> A bare-knuckle brawl. Let's start. Hello there, all you tried and true baseball fans. Hi there, sports fans on Sunny Day, along with my partner, Vinny the Gooch. Say hello to the nice people, Vinny. Nice? I got a bowl of potato salad dumped on my head on the way in here. Oh, Vinny, behave! How many yes, times has he gotten true. potato salad dumped on him? We'll feature a it's a lot! Competition between the Junior Hornets and the Crazy Bombers. A little luck, a lot of skill, and a bunch of great attitudes have seen these kids through and out. Standing season. You can bet they have hopes of landing in the playoffs, and my guess is they will. So let's get on with the ball game. Come on, fans. Give it up one time for the roughest, toughest team in the BBL, the Bombers. Woo woo! Go Bombers! Although, I'll be honest, I do like the Hornets as a team. I like their mascot. It's pretty cool. All right, well... Let's play. All right, let's get this game underway. Oh, it's Mick Alroy up first. He's got some invisible decreases. Hey, yeah! The team is actually colored like the Hornets. That's pretty cool. There we go. All right, Mick Alroy's got some skills. Oh, man, Sarah Maxwell. Big fan of your books, but, uh... 
I am a little frightened of your baseball prowess. Okay, you want to bunt. That makes sense. She is capped at speed. <laughs> Marky, don't run off the base. She's so fast. Darn it, Marky. Mikey, okay, I'm sorry I didn't pick you for my team this season. You served me very well, but, uh... I'm sorry, there was no room on the draft for you. I don't believe that. I think you just didn't make room for me on the draft. All right, well, Marky, I'm going to throw a ball the same as you. Slow. Oh, he did not like that one. Nope. Get him out. Oh, Sarah, you should not be going to third. No, that was a big mistake. Double play right away. Yeah. Sarah, you're fast. You're not that fast. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, Pete. I think you have the number one batting average in the league, so let's try to keep it that way. Oh, we also get to, we also want to see how much of an arm their catcher has. Oh, darn it, it's a screaming line drive. I guess that... I didn't even swing, Mikey. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> let's see. Okay, he's fast. Okay, their catcher's good. The catcher is fast with a good arm. That's a bad combo. All right, we got to get the ball away from their catcher, because their catcher is dangerous. That was dumb. This one way too early. It's okay. Take your inhaler. Jog back to base. It's fine. We advanced Pete. And it's time for Pablo. Everyone's favorite Spanish-speaking baseball player. Oh, you ain't gonna get a broken ladder today. <gasps> Rats. That's okay, we still got two more tries, Pablo. The stage is a little big, but Pablo can get a home run. Okay, Pablo. <laughs> we don't want to foul it there, buddy. We really want to get it out of the ballpark. Boo-hoo, that's good. Get on your horse. Actually, wait, they might catch that. Nope, they won't. Okay, Pete's going home. Oh, and Pablo's going... Oh, their outfield has no arm! And that marks Why would you do that? Your outfield needs to have an arm. Actually, this might be a big... Oh, wait, shoot, that's Mikey Thomas. I forgot. Mikey has a cannon. That's a great triple, though, Pablo! That was really good. Not quite an inside the park home run, but a triple is still very nice. And this will really help Angela get on base. Unless it's just a pop-up. Drop it? Rats. Hmm. I don't really want to use the screaming line drive on it. No, I don't need the screaming line drive. A regular line drive will do it. Maybe we'll use the screaming line drive with Marky. What? That looked like it was entirely outside the strike zone. Uh oh. Chopper to third. Gotta watch your kneecaps on those taters. Oh shoot! I should have had Annie. I thought she was good, but no. Mikey just smokes her out. Yikes! You know, I can't even be mad at that. That was a really nice play by Mikey, and it was dumb of me to not run. All right, Claudia is stacked. We got to be really careful. I mean, pretty much all of their players are stacked in some way. They're either good at batting or they're fast. Or both, like in this case. Yeeks! I'm also paranoid of throwing the big freeze at them because Sally Dobbs just hit one effortlessly last time. Okay, Marky, get on base. Get ready to catch this, buddy. Oh, Angela, really? If Lisa Crockett was the pitcher, that would have been an out. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Don! Hey, Don, we're about to have the sun set on you, okay. Oh, you, you hit it to Kenny. That's a mistake. What? Kenny, you're not supposed to drop it! Oh, you've got to... Kenny! You don't have a decrease in fielding! Blakely comes to the plate. Let's 
That's not good. Now they got a really fast player on Ferd. That's not good. I remember when Mikey ended the Mets last season. That was great. Uh oh. Okay. Angela, don't trip on this. Okay, no. No, don't throw it now. No, no, don't throw. No, 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 no. Don't let them get two points. Uh. Okay, we at least got a double play. That's fine. They tied it up, but we got a special bat. And we still have the screaming line drive, so. Honestly, I'll take it. Yeah, this is a good team. Kimmy, you got this girl. Catch it, Marky! Yeehaw! Okay. This is gonna be a tight game, I think. Oh, yeah! Undergrounder! Um. Wait, oh, shoot. Okay, well, let's try to get a hit with Marky. Wow, Marky. Yeah, I've, I've learned that the stats aren't necessarily reliably accurate in this game, especially when it comes to batting and fielding. The only the only stat that I trust 100% is the speed stat. Oh, please walk, Marky. I don't think he can get on first by himself. Oh, stop it! I can do it! No, Marky, you, you've been off your game lately. I'll show you, Pops! <laughs> Marky, you fouled it. I know, I know, Pops. <laughs> Stop telling me that. I'll get a home run. Marky, you call that a home run? That's an easy out. Shucks. <laughs> I don't really want to use one of my power ups unless I have someone on base. So, I don't know. That's that's a ball. Besides, Kimmy's good enough to be able to get a home run on her own. She's like a nine at batting today. So is Annie, but. Kimmy actually has power behind her. Annie just has contact. I don't appreciate the heckling here, Mikey. Okay, run, Kimmy. Yes, she stepped off base. Kimmy is probably gassed now, but that's fine. She made it on base, which means Charlie Brown. All right, Charlie Brown. We're going to hit the undergrounder. Hi, Jay. Welcome. All right, here we go. There we go. Nice job, Chuck Brown. Oh, yes! She doesn't have an arm. Yeah, look at that. Kimmy's going home. Look at that. No arm at all. Go, Kimmy! <laughs> nice job! All right, you want to get Kenny out, or do you want to get Charlie Brown out? Oh, shoot. Doggone it. Charlie Brown! Good grief. Mm, do we use the screaming line drive now? No, we're going power with Pete. I want to get a home run with Pete. He's capable of it. Not on that one. It's way too far to... That was way too far to the right! That was all the way over here! <laughs> That's not a power. Oh, no, they're going to catch that, because their catcher is super fast. Dang, they, they made the right choice with their catcher. He's insane. And he has decreases today, but yet he's still ridiculously stacked. And Angela is still tired, apparently. This is not good. Get, okay, Marky. That could have been yours. Oh, Annie, cat... Yes! Good job, Annie! What a pro! As for the heat, they will not be expecting this. Okay, well now they'll expect it. Now we'll throw the slow ball to balance it out. Get a strikeout. I said get a strikeout. Kenny? Here we go. Another easy catch for Marky! Alright, it's freaking McElroy. This is the catcher that's been griefing me so much. Get it out! I don't think that looked like a strike, but I'll take it. Yeah, Angela's definitely... They have so many left-handed batters. Angela's throwing, tiring herself out with the uh, left hook. Uh-oh. Okay, good! Yes, and we got a strikeout. The problem is Angela is very tired, and we're going to need her to get a home run. <laughs> Otherwise, she's getting out! Bye, howdy! This is gonna be great. 
All right, Reese. Reese, you got no Pete to help you out. That's an out. <laughs> Unless their first baseman's really dumb. Slide? Oh, wait, you can't slide into first. All right, Pablo. We're holding out for a hero, and you're it. Honestly, it would be smart to walk Pablo. Because he can't reliably steal, and Angela is not doing too hot. Another strike, and the count is two and two. <laughs> Who's flying the helicopter outside my room? That was a ball, and the count is three and two. There's actually a helicopter, like, right outside my window. From the line up, a three-two pitch. That was anticlimactic. But that's at least a single. And the runner is safe. Oh, I'm sorry. I said helicopter. I meant a helicopter parent. Marky's dad. <laughs> Mark, are you going to swing at that? <laughs> I'm going to have to try to steal with Pablo. Because otherwise I have a feeling it's going to be a double play. A swing. That's a foul. Oh, one. I do not want them getting a double play. That would be disastrous. I could hit the... Mikey Thomas? Hold on. Hold on a second. Mikey's a four at pitching. Like, literally almost anybody else would be better. I guess Mikey has the advantage of already being slow, but... I actually just want to make you pay for not picking me this time. <laughs> Mikey, I said I'm sorry. Um, what? Why would you do that? You're not baiting me. I'm not going to third. Oh, wait. No, I am. She's so slow. She's so slow. What are you doing? Uh. What? Runner on third. One out. All right. <laughs> Oh, what a crack! Oh, they're not catching that. Okay, I guess they caught that. Pablo is tired now. We will now use the screaming line drive, because I do want to get this extra point. Not on that pitch, though. Oh my gosh, the chatter is annoying. Boom! Oh my gosh, the person with the terrible arm is going for it. You're probably not gonna catch it. Yes, that's a double for Annie. Don't wanna be in way. Nice job, Annie! He scored, and the runner is I mean, I know you needed a special bat for that, but you know who's up next? You know who's up next? It's the boy! Mark is gonna get the home run here! Come on, Mark, hit the power. Pop, stop! Excuse me, you trying to hit my son in the foot? I can't believe that you picked Marky over me. I'm way better. Yes, you are, but... Oh, darn. It's too bad that's a foul. That was actually a solid hit. Doggone it! No, you got this, boy. I believe in you, Marky. We've seen you get some home runs this season. Marky's wearing the white pants today. He's got this. He's totally going to clobber it out of the park. Do it. Marky, come on! Can we please have Marky's frog bat next? Seems like his frog is stronger than he is. Ah, well, that's fine. We at least got... We get we get one point every inning. All right, Angela's got a little bit more juice now. Oh, great, the slow-mo. That's not the easiest special pitch in the game. Or anything. Okay, Sarah is a bit of a problem. I think Sarah was the person who actually made it home this game. Okay, Sarah's not capped at batting, but she's still... Oh, my gosh, why is the heat... Okay, cool! Got the strikeout. I find the heat after the slow ball tends to screw them up. I have no idea if there's any actual coding behind that that says that that's the case, but... 
Maybe it's just confirmation bias. Hi, Mikey! Oh boy, the fire... Okay, the fireball's actually really good. It's the best special pitch in the game. Against the AI, anyways. But I really would like... A Capri Sun. Angela's dying of dehydration here. Uh-oh. Pete, you got this, right, buddy? Yeah, Pete Wheeler! Yes! What a... How... That's amazing. Alright, Claudia. You got no chance. I know you made it to first today, but you're not getting on first again. I'm glad that Angela can still throw the slow ball even when she's tired. Okay, Kenny. Are you actually going to pick this up this time? Ken Kenny, you're off your game! You're normally my most reliable fielder, by far. But today, you're... Hmm. Cool! Strike out! Now AD's getting those strikeouts that we need. This is great. If we don't get a juice box the next in this next inning, though, then uh, I might have to sub her out for Charlie Brown again. Alright, Kimmy. Let's see if we have another screaming... Wait, wait, no, I don't think we do. No, we don't have another screaming line drive. I knew this. Kimmy, you're going to have to rely on your raw talent and the boosts you got from eating all of those Oreos before the game. <laughs> That's a good idea. We should pressure her for milkshakes. Maybe that works for Kimmy, too. Kimmy, you get a home run, you get a box of Twinkies after the game. Kimmy, why does your bat face through the ball all the time? Am I just mistiming the swings all the time? Oh, you got this. It's going up the right field line, and it goes foul. I gotta say, Kimmy, even when you're boosted with your own home field, you're still no, not no. great. Kimmy! All style, no substance. Maybe Mikey drops it. And no, Mikey's good at fielding. Charlie Brown? We need you to get hit another home run, like you did in the second game. It was on this field. And you're back to normal at batting, so you can do it. You've done it before. Don't swing at that one, though. Don't you dare try to hit Charlie Brown. He, he's had bad enough luck in his life as is. He doesn't need that. There we go. I mean, that's still definitely an out, but... Doggone it, Charlie Brown. Kenny, we need you to hit power. Kenny, we need you to hit power and to hit it, hit it well. That was Kenny hitting power. Dang, that was flawless defense on their part. Don, Alicia, and Faye, three girls with the exact same hairstyle. Dawn of the Dead. Here we go. Oh my gosh, we've got a juice box. Thank goodness. Angela actually got some of her juice back on her own, though. No! Get that, Pete? That's okay, Pete. Why? Um, I threw it back to the pitcher. They're supposed to not be able to advance when you do that. What the heck? That kid's waving the bat around like it was a toothpick. She literally just walked up to the plate, Vinny. Vinny's so judgmental. He's just like, wow, she stinks. Look at the way that she swings the bat improperly. It's like she literally hasn't done anything. Whoa! Dawn is literally doing the side shuffle going back. What the heck? Slide to the left. Take it back now, y'all. Cha cha now, y'all. All right, it's time for the fireball. Good day. Hadouken! All right, Faye Dawson. We drink that juice. Oh, yes. Wow! Faye gives zero cares. Wait! Why was that not an out? Pete caught it. Pete caught it? Why did it not count as an out? Oh, is that is that supposed to be a compliment waving it around like it's a toothpick? 
It seems like an insult to me, where it's like, you don't know how to use the baseball. You think it's a toothpick. If Pete dropped it, then it was on the ground for, like, a microsecond. <laughs> Vinny the Gooch is actually a more advanced model of Mr. Clanky. Yeah, this is this is going to be a tough game, for sure. Okay, Reese, throw it. Mark, catch it. And good. We're out of the inning. Good job. Not a really high-scoring game, but it's still a very close game. This is def yeah, this is definitely a tricky one. Okay, Pete. Dang, Vinny Savage. What am I supposed to do again? Ideally, we hit a grounder off of a special ball like the crazy ball. Uh, I mean, I could have Mr. Clanky for a season, but that would be a big handicap, or that would be like a big advantage for me. Because Clanky is literally a character that can't tire out. So, and he's flawless at pitching, so. I, I think in order to go against Mr. Clanky, you have to hack the game as well. The thing about Mr. Clanky is, like, he's, he's overpowered when it comes to pitching, but he's actually really bad at batting. In my experience, Mr. Clanky always either hits it straight down the center, right to the center fielder, straight to the left to the left fielder, or straight to the right to the right fielder. And nothing in between. And he's not fast enough to be able to bunt. He's basically a defense machine, but can't play offense. Yes, you will, Reese. But first... Alright! Oh, yes, everyone's on the left side for some reason. Reese! How did you not make that? Oh, yeah! Big mistake. Is that a home run? Yes, it is! It just barely counts, but it works. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo! I believe that earns us the win. You never pitch to the outside when it's Pablo. Never. <laughs> the girl was desperately trying to climb the hedge, but RJ and Vern per pushed her out. Angela is zero for two, but we can fix that. All right, that's an out. Watch your kneecaps on those taters. That's the thing about Angela. She rarely get. She rarely will score a point if you don't get a home run with her. All right, Annie. Annie can't hit power. We know that, so we're gonna hit line drive. That's an out. Mikey's got such a fireball cannon. Look at this. Wow. Okay. He actually restrained himself, so that way he didn't hit the girl in the face. That's okay. Two points. We just need to make sure they don't get free runs this inning, and we win. <laughs> you can't bowl in the backyard. Uh, tell that to Fatty Bear. Fatty Bear absolutely can bowl in the backyard. Well, Marky, we're not worried about his power. We're worried about his speed. Oh, what a strikeout. Great job, AD. <laughs> Strikes out. Bitch can't hit a touchdown. Backyard boxing, I'm not sure that would be allowed, since everyone's, like, an elementary school student. I am surprised they never made backyard tennis. It would be great to have a game that the Weber Twins just dominate in. We gotta watch out for this girl. Gotta... Um... What? You guys all saw that, right? I pitched it down here. And, uh, it ended up way up here. What? You're such a liar. Does that just happen sometimes? It adds to the realism. It really makes you think that the kids are actually kids. <laughs> yep! Get out, Sarah Maxwell. You should give up baseball and just keep writing the Moody's books. Hey, what did I tell you? 
Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna score four runs here. Mikey, there's no one on base. I'm gonna score four runs here. <laughs> oh wow, we got a full roster of power ups. Yikes. Backyard, yo mama. How about backyard rugby? That's the UK version. Sorry, Mikey, you're out. Get out! That's game. That's no fair. I wanted to be on the winning team. Marky, are you ever gonna throw it back to Angela? I don't want the game to ever end. Marky just refused to throw the ball back. It's like I guess the game's still over. What a game, folks! When things got rough out there, these kids hung in and kept playing their hardest. This victory is a well-deserved payoff for a job well done. Until next time, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Cooch signing off. Woo! 5-2! That, that was a tough game. Definitely it was looking dire for a little bit there, but Pablo definitely came in clutch at the end. Yes. Alright, so if we look at the uh, standings now, we're 7-0. The Rangers are 7-0 as well. And so are the Reds. Great. So the Rangers and Reds are like, we are not going to be defeated. There's always those one or two teams that are just like, no, we're not losing to anybody. It's really annoying. And oftentimes when you actually face off against them, like, they're not very good. Like, that's what happened back if, in Season 2 of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Where it's like, oh yeah, they literally just never lost, and then I fought them, and we like, absolutely destroyed them. I feel like there must be something in the AI to just be like, eh, it doesn't matter with the quality of their team, we just randomly select a team that'll never lose against the other AIs. Which, hey, like, I mean, if they want to go to the World Series and we face off against a really bad team in the World Series, then great. <laughs> that makes my job easier. <laughs> League leaders, Wendy Parsons. I don't... You came out of nowhere. Did you get, like, five home runs in one game? Good lord. It's insane. Pete has the most hits with Ray Tran. Pablo Sidney Angela. Interesting. Pablo has a high amount of doubles. Nothing for triples. Pablo has a very high amount of runs batted in. Cool, cool. I am pretty sure going back to this... Remember that, like, half of these that Reese has gotten were from the one Grand Slam. So that's part of the reason he's up there. Pete has a lot of runs scored. Yes, yes, makes sense. Pete and Kenny with a high batting average. Pablo with a high slugging percentage. Oh, yeah. Number one for steals, Pete Wheeler with 11. Number two, Reese Worthington with three. Yeah, that, that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. That's about right. Oh, my gosh. Angela, 38 strikeouts. Yes. Yes, girl. That's amazing. All right, we we doing pretty well. Good, good, good job, Reese. But let, let, I, I said Reese on Kenny. Good job, Kenny. Let's have Reese on the screen for the ending because I, I feel like the game always biases like you want either Kenny or Marky as your uh, guy who's just looking at the screen at the end here. All right, well that's gonna do it for Game Seven of Backyard Baseball Season Four. That was definitely a fun game. We got we got two special bats really early on, but. I don't want to say that was an uneventful game, but that was that was a pretty low scoring game, and not, I feel I feel like it, not a lot happened. It was just a lot of back and forth. Like we get a point, they get a point, but maybe that makes for an interesting watch. I hope you all enjoyed it. 